Hi guys, it's Paige and I'm back with another video for you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my top five purchases of 2021. Um, but like always, before we get into that, I do want to take the time to give a special thanks to everybody who's recently subscribed to my channel. I got a big boost and I'm very appreciative of that. I'm really, really close to reaching the watch hours to be monetized on my channel, which I'm very excited about. But not so close on the subscribers so i'm really really trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible so if you like this video make sure that you not only give it a thumbs up but you hit that subscribe button so i'm gonna give everybody a moment to stop and hit that subscribe button um and we're going to get straight into the video so I'm going to show you guys my top five picks. I'm going to start from least favorite to my favorite uh, purchase out of all of 2021. Um, I shouldn't say it like least favorite, but you know, I don't know how to explain that. It's going to be a countdown. Um, so this is going to be number five. So the first bag that I'm going to show you guys is my Jacquemus Le Chiquito Nued. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that, but I will put the name on the screen and in the description box. I got this one in the color orange in Nubuck. Um, I have to admit that I've only worn this bag one time. A lot of these things I have worn only once or twice, and one of them I have not worn at all, but that's mostly because of the pandemic and, um... I'm just super busy all the time, but I have worn this one one time. Um, I really, 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 really love this color. And you'll see later on in the video because I have another item that's like in a very similar color. Um, I think that this color like really complements my um, uh, skin very well. So I really, I don't know, I just really like this color. Um, I will leave a link to the video where I unbox this and you can see like my shots and more details about this bag. Um, it is not the most practical bag. It does come with like this strap inside of here. Um, that being said, you can't fit a lot in here. Um, it's really for like going out. It, it's still a daytime bag, but it is not an everyday bag by any means. Um, but what for what it's for, I really like it. Um, I had a hard time getting this bag. I like fell in love with it the first time that I saw the bag and I'm really, really happy that I got my hands on it. Um, I think it is at more of a affordable price range. It's very unique. I know that I'm not gonna walk down the street and see somebody with it. And I don't know, I think it makes, um, your outfit really easy to style because you can just wear something basic and pop this purse on and you know you just go from basic to chic uh instantly so i really do like this bag and i am excited that hopefully the world will get back to normal and i will be able to wear this um more often so the next item on my list is my Bottega Veneta Lebo sandals in the color papaya. Um, it is very similar to this bag. Um, it's not an exact match, but it's close enough. Um, that wasn't really intentional. Um, I just really like this color. I don't know why. I just really, really like it. Um, I again have another video unboxing the sandals so I will leave a card of that and I'll talk about more about the shoe in more detail on this video. I unfortunately have only worn this shoe one time when I was in Mexico. Um, I bought this shoe really I think for the trip. Um, I was like looking for sandals and um, I don't know. It's like one of those things like once I found the shoe, I just really fell in love with the color and I just really, really want it. Um, so I got it. These shoes are a little bit more on the pricier side. Um, that being said, there's something about this color that just makes me like uh, make impulsive 
purchases because then I just like really have to have it. I really don't know why. Um, but anyway, the shoe is very comfortable. It's very practical, I think. I really like that the heel is not um, so substantial, but it's dressy enough that, you know, you don't look like you're wearing like an old lady kitten heel. Um, so that's it's very important to me that my heels are or at least that i have some heels that are comfortable um and more practical to wear this shoe comes like in a wide range of colors you can get it in black or nude they have several different types of nudes to complement different skin tones which i really really like um that they do that and of course they have a wide range of other colors um that are bright or not so bright um so i think they have like a color for everybody um i love this shoe so much that i do have a a flat version of this shoe in like a pastel like purple pink ish color um this is like one of the few items and i probably wouldn't buy another one unless i found it on sale but i really wouldn't mind i really wouldn't mind having more of these shoes um i don't know i just really like it um yeah so this is definitely number four on my list of my top five luxury purchases of 2021 so number three on my list is my Saint Laurent monogram belt. It is in the narrow size. I hope you guys can, it focuses enough on the logo that's right here. Um, this is something that I, it was like something I was looking for, but I didn't know what I was looking for until I found it. So when I purchased this, and again, I have an unboxing that I will put a card up for. I wanted a luxury belt, but one that didn't have a, um, as prominent of a logo on it because sometimes I find, um, luxury belts to be a little bit difficult to style like on an everyday basis so I like that this one is very conservative it's very practical um I have not worn this belt a, a, a ton um but again that's just because of the pandemic and things have gotten um pretty bad in my area so I just don't go out anymore um but when I was I was able to wear this a few times um and I love it it's everything that I needed in a belt this color I think is like seasonal it is in suede I don't know the exact name of the color but if I can find it I will put a link in the description um box it is um I don't I don't really know why sometimes it's on the website and sometimes it's not so I don't know if it's something that they're going to um, come back with or not but it comes in so many different colors that I'm sure if you're interested interested in this belt that you'll be able to find a color that you like or you might be able to find this belt just somewhere else I purchased this one at Nordstrom and again, if I can find links, they'll be in the description box. But I love this because it's just so practical. And it's something that you know that you will get your cost per wear in um, because it's easy to wear, unlike most of the other things that I'm showing you today. So if you've seen the video where I unbox this, you already know that this shoe makes me smile. And um, I love this shoe. This shoe is like one of the best things that has ever happened to me. And the only reason why it's not number one is because I just have not worn it. And um, it's uncomfortable. Um, I have not worn it just because I don't have a place to wear it. Um, I am a law student in the evening and I work full time and outside is pretty much closed right now. It's just not safe to be out here in these streets. So I just haven't worn it yet. Um, so I don't really, uh, know, uh, how comfortable it is. Like it could just be a horrible experience and, and then maybe I'll hate the shoe. I don't know. Um, so that's the only reason why it's not number one because, um, 
this, I don't, I'm sure this shoe is not very practical. All Louis Vuitton or Louboutin shoes are extremely uncomfortable and I'm sure this one will be extremely uncomfortable. That being said, I don't think that you will ever find a better red shoe in your life. Um, at the time that I filmed my unboxing, which I will put a card up for, um, this shoe had just came out and um, it's it was difficult to find. Um, it's a lot easier now to find, so I will leave links. Um, it looks like it's a shoe that may stay around for a little while longer, um, at least with some re retailers, so it's, you know, possible to find it so that's a good thing um this shoe is one of a kind it's it's mesmerizing um i don't know it just really makes me happy i love looking at the shoe um and just because it makes me smile that is why it's ranked so highly even though i have yet to get the opportunity to wear this shoe. But I told you guys when I filmed this shoe, I do not have the social life to support this shoe, but I love it. And one day I will get the chance to wear it. Okay, so my top pick for my purchases of 2021 is going to be my Givenchy Antigona bag in the smooth black leather. Um, I have to admit, again, I've only worn this bag one time, but that is because of the panorama that's out here raging. Um, I just stopped going to restaurants. I stopped going out anywhere. So I just, you know how you get new stuff? Like you only want to wear it like when you, like on a special occasion. I think I just save things too much. Um, and then I don't, I end up wearing like old stuff instead of new stuff. Um, but it, it's mostly because I just don't go, I don't wear anything right now. Um, because I don't go anywhere. Um, so yeah, anyway, I've wanted this bag for a really, really long time. There's just like this really, um, I really like when I want something for a really long time and I get it. I feel like I get more satisfaction out of that than just like impulse purchases. Um, and all of the, which I normally don't do, but I feel like last year I did like a lot of impulse purchases, which all of them were except for that belt, um, which is fine. Um, but this wasn't, it was something that I wanted for years and I'm happy that I finally got my hands on one. Um, and I know that it's something that it's going to be in my collection for a very long time and that I will get a lot of use out of. Um, and I just love it. And I'm praying that this year we'll be able to go out more and enjoy ourselves more and um, some of my items can get out my closet and enjoy life. Um, but anyway, this is my number one pick. I'm very interested to know what you guys' favorite luxury purchases were for last year. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. It's free to be a part of this family. Um, so you don't miss any of my videos. I appreciate all of you guys who have supported me in the past year. Um, it's been a great experience and I'm looking forward to creating more videos so you can help me out by hitting that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.